Hello everyone, my name is Ali and I'm the producer on the brand team at Loom. I've been able to work across so many different projects going on with this new rebrand, but one of my favorite ones was the photo shoot that we were able to do at the beginning of September. Tim and I have been working tirelessly on this since July. He actually had a test shoot all planned out to test a bunch of different looks and models and lighting and everything, and it really helped us make sure everything was polished and considered for this September shoot. Tim is from Atlanta, as well as our photographer, Ren. So the shoot was based there. Uh, Ren is an incredible photographer who was really able to pull together everything we needed for a successful shoot during a pandemic. Um, one of the things that we kind of ran into that was a little bit of a roadblock is as we were considering you know, how to approach video um, without doing true casting calls, was how to make sure that we were getting expressive videos and, and talent that was really able to convey the types of things we were looking for. One of the ways that we did that was we partnered with a couple of local casting agencies and asked those talent reps to send us videos of all of the talent speaking into a front-facing camera. Um, just 10, 15 second videos um, of them answering questions like, if you were a kind of beverage, what kind of beverage would you be and why? Um, a lot of these videos ended up making us laugh. We ended up going with um, Nina and Grace and Jay, Angelina, Jamila, and Kevin. Kevin actually we shot on the test shoot as well, and he is one of the most expressive people I have ever met in my life. He's fantastic. We were also able to meet um, and, and work with some really talented staff um, for the set. Kimmy is fantastic. She's a stylist that's fairly new in the styling world, but she killed it. She really was able to pull together six different looks for um, a pretty small budget, considering that we were only shooting each individual uh, talent or, or model um, for about two hours. And we needed to go through two or three uh, different looks in that time. So she was really fast, really efficient, and was able to do all of the sourcing online since we're not really able to go out and do true shopping as we would uh, pre-COVID days. Um, we were also able to work with Molly Todd. She was an amazing hair and makeup artist and really rolled with the punches and was very, very good with being um, socially distanced and wearing a face shield while applying makeup and making sure that um, the models were safe as they were on set. One of the other ways that we tried to mitigate any of the kind of COVID contact that was happening was staggering all of the models. So we broke the shoot out over two days and we staggered them for about two and a half hour blocks. This allowed us to make sure that there were fewer bodies on set that could possibly you know, transfer anything to each other. And this also made sure that we were able to really think through everything and spend the time that we needed with everyone. This is kind of some shots from uh, behind the scenes that Tim put together. As you can see, we had a pretty good time um, all while being pretty socially distanced unless the um, talent was being you know, judged as far as their hair and makeup. Um, Overall, we're really happy with how everything turned out. I hope you all love it um, as much as we do. And it was a wonder to work with all of these amazing people and Tim especially too.